So guys, it is very bright. I'm eating some french fries. And today, we are going to go to Elephant Rock again to go for a rockfish and perch. My dad's eating Cheez-Its. And I'm eating french fries. Um, see you when we get there. That's a great fish. Can you keep it? What is that? Is that a surf perch? perch? That is the biggest surf perch I've ever seen. Oh. We are definitely keeping him. Are you kidding me? Oh, Dude, that yeah. thing is going to be good eating right there. Guys, check oh. out the size of the surf perch we just got. Look, we caught it on this little dinky rod. Oh man, that's a great picture. Show the rod with the fin. Yeah. Yes. Little tiny pen mini rod. Oh, awesome. Okay, we are definitely keeping that sucker. That little rod, that miniature rod, is what we cut that very large surf perch on. What do you got there, Heath? That's a female. Yeah. It's also too small. I think it's a sculpin. Let me see. Hold it up. Yeah, I think that's called a sculpin. Can you eat these? No. Well, maybe, but that not that one. That's way too small. That's a nice catch, though. Let's see. All right. Can you lift these? Nice one, buddy. Good job. It kind of looks like a baby wing pod. Kind of, yeah. Maybe it is, actually. There you go. I thought it had a crab. All right, see if you can get another uh, surf perch. We seem to have found the crab den. Let's so go. So I will not let go of our lure. Let's go. Three crabs, two fish. So we're done fishing, caught that little sculpin thing, like three crabs and a very, very nice surf perch on a tiny little rod that was, I got for Christmas. Rod's really tiny. The, when the rod folds up, the fish is bigger than when, like, when, when the rod folds up, like to, the rod folds up to about, like this big the surf perch is huge it is massive for a surf perch we're gonna cook it up tonight uh we might show you guys us filleting it and all that stuff oldie's not very good at filleting but if we don't show you well we'll show you the catch we'll, we'll catch it and cook it with you um uh so see you when we get to the house to fillet. Um, this is our fish that we caught. Nice surf perch. Um, this is the rod that we used to catch him on. We're gonna have him for dinner with our mustad fillet knife. Um, um, yeah. We're back. We're marinating it in some spice cider, which was really good last time we tried it on fish. It gets it more some sweetness. So, we're gonna show you what seasonings we're gonna use. Weber New Orleans Cajun seasoning. Um, it looks super good. We haven't tried it yet. And we're gonna put it with some cornstarch and some flour, and we're gonna make a batter to put on, like to dip the fish in. And then we're gonna put them in some hot oil, like deep fried. And so, yeah. 
We got a lot of Cajun seasoning in here. We really want to get some spicy yet sweet fish because that's what we really like. We've never had perch though, surf perch. So this is going to be fun. We'll tell you how it is. And do you think these are ready to go in? Let's give it another minute. Okay. Uh, so this is, I might add just a touch more. And then this is all we're going to do. Nice batter. Got the right. Cajun. Well, you're getting that going. What's the oil you have there, buddy? Uh, we got some organic spect spectrum culinary canola oil. Uh, it's really good. And yeah. Right, so let's heat that up in the frying pan. And the next shot, you'll see some, uh, some fried perch. Okay, there's our lemon infused canola oil. And the first filet is going in right now. Pretty good. Um, so this is the fish. We are also going to make some hush puppies that I'll show you okay, right there's now. There's the finished product right there. Deep fried perch fish and chips. Oh, here's the first. Happy New Year. You can't see me. It's very dark. Um, we're about to go to bed. I hope you have a wonderful New Year. I uh, hope you guys are staying safe. You can't see me, but I'll see you in the next video.